Whoa, <laughs> you scared me. Why are you here so early? Oh, no, don't tell me. I'm late, aren't I? Oh, gosh. Give me just one minute and I'll be right there with you, okay? First of all, thank you very much for watching. If you're familiar with terms such as high-end, audiophile, fidelity, then probably this video will at least add something more to your vocabulary. Uh, I'll try to make this video as short as I can, even though I have so much to tell you about and I really like to talk, so... I have seriously considered whether to do or not this video. But I love music and I remembered what Sting once told us. Be yourself no matter what they say, so here I am to rock you like a hurricane. Got it? <laughs> Here I am to rock you like a hurricane. So let's begin, shall we? First, please notice. Let me introduce myself. Do you know who I am? Precisely, nobody. <laughs> I am a nobody. I am not a journalist. I am not in advertising business. I am not in the audio business and I am definitely not in audio packs business whatsoever. Remember this, I am not in audio packs business in any way, I'm just a customer. I am nothing but a simple hobbyist audiophile just like you who also watches Paul McGowan channel on YouTube, Steve Guttenberg channel on YouTube, Zero Fidelity and etc. I did my homework just like you. Stereophile, the Absolute Sound, the Master Handbook of Acoustics, the Loudspeaker Design Cookbook, uh, using Win ISD software to simulate the speaker box to, to, to build a do it yourself uh, box to put on the trunk on the, uh, on the car. Been there and done that. Just like you, I've owned and heard, listened to lots and lots of electronics. Hegel, Aragon, Lumen, MBL, Like You Face, Class A, Musical Fidelity, Dark Zeal, Krell, you name it. And speakers as well, such as Wilson Audio, DALI, Monitor Audio, PSB, BAW, Sonos Faber, Dyn Audio, etc. So the bottom line here is, I am just like you. A regular guy, but really, really into the audiophile hobby. Pure and simple as that. I am in the top end of the audio chain. I don't make money with audio, I spend my money in audio gear just to listen to music with excellence. The reason I told you all of that is because I want you to know that everything I'll be saying here is based on my personal opinion. Please don't think this is a paid advertising, a paid review or something like that. As I just told you, I am a simple customer but very, very happy with his choice on audio gear. So happy that I'm here just to share with you about it. Okay, so let's go. My name is Lucas, I am 32 years old, I live in Brazil. Yes, Brazil, the biggest country of South America with 26 states and a federal district. I really don't think Brazil is known worldwide for its high-end audio gear. So believe me when I say it is for me just as it will be to you when you listen to it for the first time. A shock to know that we have something so special being made here on our country. I'm talking about a Brazilian high-end audio brand called Audiopex. Wait, 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 don't tell me. You've never heard of it, have you? Well, you should. You've never heard of Audiopex because it is not the mainstream. But Audiopex, Audiopex has won 32 best of the show in 18 international shows. Also, it stayed seven years in a row as Stereophile Class A gear and its founder, Mr. Eduardo de Lima, is known worldwide for the genius he was. 
Also, it's the only gear in the world to use a resource called Timberlock. The Timberlock is it was invented by Audiopex and it's like um, uh, let's put it this way, it's like a knob that you can turn left and right to adjust the synergy of the whole equipment as a, as a gear, as a setup. So, the reason I'm recording this video is because I am very excited with my new and definitive speakers, which will be arriving in 35 days or so. My new speakers are the Mandolin Ceramic from Audiopax. Never heard of it? Of course not. Mine are the very first pair ever built, so I'm the proud owner of the Mandolin Ceramic serial number 0001. How cool is that? As I was saying, you've never heard of it so far. I will tell you briefly about these speakers and soon you will be able to hear it for, to listen it for yourself on the events that occur in Warsaw or Munich. I bought the mandolin ceramic to replace my former speakers, the Epicon speakers from Dali. Uh, a few months ago, the Audiopex team did an event to show the mandolin ceramic to a very few audience. Uh, I was happy to be there and I was able to shoot some videos of the mandolin playing uh, lots of songs. It's all here in my channel, if you like. You can go there and listen. The Mandolin Ceramic is one of the two very new speakers from Audiopax. I was talking to the company CEO, Mr. Silvio Pereira, who became my dearest friend, and I noticed that he's very happy to be able to present a true high-end speaker designed for those serious audiophiles who are very critical and wants nothing but the best in audio reproduction. These speakers the mandolin ceramic is made of real wood baffle using very thick Brazilian wood. So forget the MDF stuff, this speaker is the real deal. The baffle uses real wood. It also uses the SV acoustic papyrus drivers for the low frequencies and the Ecuton ceramic for the medium and for the high frequencies. That's why they call it ceramic, because of the ceramic drivers. So as you can see, Audiopex uses, like Frank Sinatra sang, nothing but the best components. Also, they are partnered with the Jupiter Condensers Company, a company that designs the, their capacitors in the USA. The mandolin uses a very unusual crossover configuration. So, bottom line, what do we have? We have real wood speakers with a thick baffle. We, we have Ecutone ceramic drivers for the mid and the high frequencies. We have SB Acoustics papyrus drivers for the low frequencies. And we have also components by Jupiter condensers on the USA. So, to finish it, uh, in my opinion, and, and please do bear this in mind, it's just a single opinion, and again, who am I? Nobody. Uh, in my opinion, the ceramic speakers, the mandolin ceramic speakers from Audiopax outperforms lots of stuff that I've listened to until today and lots of expensive stuff and very hype stuff that I've listened to today so far. I've uh, listened to it several times in showroom, in events, in friends' house and etc. So I've ended up buying one pair for myself and guess what? It's the first pair. Ha! Very good. I'm very excited and I think you're gonna like it. So, in about 30 to 40 days from now, I will have um, Audiopex crew in my apartment to get it installed and to put the room to play again. And if you want, you can check again real soon, okay? Thank you very much for watching and take care.
Wait, 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 wait. Another quote. I forgot to tell you something. Google for audio packs. Put something like audio packs review on Google or audio packs L50 review. Audio packs is beyond reality. It's uniquely real. Audiopex crew uses the uniquely real expression on their logo because that's what Audiopex does. It goes beyond reality to give you a particularly um, view of the reality that's playing in your system. Audiopex equipment, uh, believe it or not, they have uh, a characteristic to bug your brain in such a way that you forget sometimes you forget you are listening to a serial and you really think you, you just shut down you really think that you are listening to the live event in front of you I know it sounds common it sounds uh, it's something that people tell you all the time in every brand but do yourself a favor just take a listen